Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through an example of a SharePoint intranet site. So this is an intranet that I built uh, and referring to as the heart, as in it's the heart of the organization. It's the heart of all updates and information and news coming from the organization. Now, in this particular template, we're also making a hub site, meaning it has this navigation bar across the top. Now, the hub navigation bar is designed to be consistent throughout the intranet, meaning if I was to move into some of the other areas of my intranet, maybe different department areas or onboarding or policy areas, this navigation bar here will stay completely the same. Whereas beneath that, this is what we call the site navigation bar. And this is specific to the current site we're looking at. So only these links here will be seen on this particular homepage of the internet. And if I was to move to a say policies area, there'd be a completely different set of links in the site navigation. So with this as the heart, we've put a nice little heart logo on here, which I think contrasts really nice with a kind of black background. But of course you could completely change this yourself um, and have completely different colors dependent on your organizational brand color palette. Now, we do have a news carousel slider here, which we can either get to automatically slide, or you can get employees to sort of scroll through it themselves at their own pace. Totally up to you how you want um, that to work. Then on the right-hand side, we have an area which is our useful links. Now, you can even just have links that just say book holiday requests or, um, or manage stress during my workday. It could just be something like... Um, personal work-life balance guide book or something like that but actually what we've done here is we've used this how do i as a kind of a way of opening up a question so it can be how do i find the performance review form how do i take a leave of absence and then by clicking that could take you off into another page of the internet which gives you much more information about answering that particular question so it's kind of like an faq list Further down, we also have some more navigational items which could point us off into core areas of our intranet. So things like vision and values information. By clicking on more inf info, we could bounce to a specific page of that in our intranet or some career information or benefits for working for that organization. Also on the right hand side here, you can see we can embed what we call power apps. Now power apps are essentially ways you can build custom user interfaces and applications for your organization. So something like an expense request where you could submit brand new expense request forms and then get the, the line managers to approve them and then send a notification to finance team to pay those particular expenses and embed that all inside of your intranet homepage on SharePoint. Further down, we then have our news area. So the news could be customized to the um, the user that's viewing it. So it could just be news items which are for everybody in the scroller across the top and then further down could be customized. So this could be customized based on um, where the news is coming from. So maybe it's only news that's coming from senior management team or it could be customized that's showing to me based on my job role or the location I work in. So say for example, if I work in the London office, it might only show news which is re related to people that work in London, whereas people in the US and New York would only see the New York related news. And you could slice that in so many different ways to really bespoke and customize the news experience for the user. Then on the right hand side, we have events. So this could be a roll up of events from all over the internet, whether it be training um, from the learning development site, whether it be events and social events which are coming up, um, volunteering days, um, things like that could be added in here. And once um, they're added, people can choose to add them into their own calendar. Further along, we've got more kind of FAQ type style things, which are useful links, topics based on roles. So whether you're a manager, so it's like manager's toolkit, mentors, um, volunteers, by clicking that could take you to specific content based on the job role. We also have things like most popular documents. So we can either show things like most recent documents on our internet homepage, so most recently updated, or we can have most popular documents, which I think is more important because we're wanting to show people documents which aren't being accessed all of the time. So obviously they're things that people want to easily readily be able to access. So we're promoting that by providing the links to them on the internet homepage. We might also want to promote things like work anniversaries, so how long people have been working at the organization, and general celebrations such as promotions, um, birthdays, things like that. Maybe these could link off to individual kind of pages which roll up all of those different types of announcements. We also have, um, I say, more other topics, so quick links which are helping 
easily navigate people to other areas of the intranet, uh, managing time off, maybe booking, uh, going to a booking system, uh, things like that. And also we can have call to action. So maybe you're wanting someone to do something like submit an employee satisfaction form or giving feedback on the new intranet. You can have a call to action with a button which bounces you to a Microsoft form to collect that feedback um, and, and gather that all up. I just wanted to pause for a second to ask a quick favor. If you're enjoying this video, a free way that you can say thank you to me is to subscribe to my channel. You'll get access to loads of fantastic materials, not only about SharePoint, but all Microsoft 365 products like Microsoft Teams, Forms, OneNote, uh, PowerPoint, Teams, and so much more all inside of one channel. If you need any professional assistance setting up SharePoint, there's a link in the description on my bio, on my YouTube channel, um, to get in contact with me directly. So that was a quick summary of the home page uh, of a SharePoint intranet, uh, I say as the heart. Um, I do have other videos which go into a bit more detail about other types of examples of intranet home pages, but I also just wanted to show you with this same branding for the heart, you could also have sub areas of your intranet, something like a volunteer portal, for example. So if this was for a nonprofit or any other organization which was looking to support their employees or encourage them to give their time, uh, or donate um, to a particular cause or a social initiative, then you could have something like a volunteer portal and say, this looks very much like an internet homepage, but we're using the sub area of our internet. Again, we've got a kind of sidebar here, maybe counting down to a particular volunteer day, um, some information about sort of how to get involved with the volunteer schemes, uh, volunteer toolkits, donation portals, maybe some news specifically, uh, from the heart and other areas of the internet being promoted onto here, uh, making a difference. So how the volunteers have impacted some core information and statistics about how the volunteer portal is being used. We could embed things like tweets onto SharePoint pages. Um, again, more kind of useful links down here. Or we could use people web parts. So if there's particular people that uh, you wanted to have their contact information displayed, this is just a test email. Uh, so don't actually email this. Um, and, and essentially that is how um, you could have that same branding, that same look and feel that we saw on the homepage of the heart, but flowing through other areas of the organization, different business units, different departments um, and functions, having their own area of SharePoint, but it looks and feels very much the same as you move between those different areas of your SharePoint intranet.